In 1998, Colonial Acres became the smallest golf course ever to become an Audubon Cooperative Certified Sanctuary. Last year, it became the first nine-hole golf course to win the GCSAA Golf Digest Environmental Leaders in Golf National Award. The property is 33 and a half acres. There originally were 26 acres of mowed turf. Since joining the Audubon program in 97, we've reduced it to now 14 acres of total maintained turf. This change significantly lowered the amount of synthetic pesticides, water, and labor inputs needed for maintenance. The course enhanced its wildlife habitat by establishing additional natural areas and planting more berry-producing shrubs and native trees. The staff also conserved resources by expanding an irrigation pond, which is fed solely by runoff and rain. This pond supplies 100% of the water for irrigation and the course established outreach programs by hosting Audubon benefit tournaments, printing quarterly newsletters, and creating a songbird garden. This is basically an educational garden for our golfers, kind of uh, inform them of what we're trying to do as far as incorporating some songbird activity on our golf course with the shrubs. Um, each one of these shrubs actually brought, brings in different songbirds. Um, we actually dedicated this, this is in dedication of my daughter, obviously, who seems to be the more famous one out of all of us. Um, and I guess the most important thing is, is that uh, it really does work. You really get a lot of bird activity early in the morning, when these things are fruiting, when they're flowering. To become an environmentally compatible golf course, such as an Audubon Cooperative Certified Sanctuary, some people believe you must compromise conditions in order to implement stringent conservation practices. I don't think that he's compromising conditions on this golf course. This is a horrible summer and the disease is rampant and these greens look great. He has a little bit of a dollar spot, but not nearly as much as I was expecting. His fairways look good. Um, he often has people come in and do tournaments for the local chapter, and they always comment on how well his greens look. So, no, I don't think he's compromising at all. Blum also worked with Audubon to develop a low-cost but effective machine wash-off pad, pesticide loading pad, and gas containment pad. In the event of a spill or leak, these pads will contain the liquid and prevent it from seeping into the ground. So with all three pads and containment boxes together, this whole system came out to be seven grand total. We did it over a three year process and it was part of our certification for Audubon. They actually certified us with the idea of doing it and the plans. And when we came up for recertification two years later in the Audubon program, we had everything done, just like we said we were going to do. So. In 2000, Colonial Acres won the New York Governor's Award for Pollution Prevention. It's the only golf course ever to earn this prestigious award. The whole purpose of the award is to um, recognize companies that uh, go beyond compliance. Okay, these are companies that that they they put uh, they go the extra mile uh, to reduce pollution. When I uh, won the award in 2000, this really nice lady 
comes up to me after I did my speech, and she goes, you know what, that was, that was fantastic. And I was like, well, thank you very much. She goes, you know what you are? I said, what? I was figuring it's something bad, you know. She goes, you're the Superman in the environment. And I said, slap an S on my chest and call me Superman. And I walked about that high. I was actually flying, I think. I just, yeah, I was pretty big. Blum initially applied for the GCSAA Golf Digest ELCA program to see how his course stacked up. He won a merit award the first two years and the chapter award the next two years, so he knew his course was progressing. Anybody should apply for it. I think I really believe that you should because it's a good guideline of what you're doing and where you can take the next level to. The Environmental Leaders in Golf Award recognizes golf course superintendents and their courses for overall course management, excellence in the areas of resource conservation, water quality management, integrated pest management, wildlife and habitat management, and educational outreach. It is presented in partnership with Syngenta Professional Products and Rainbird Corporation Golf Division. All superintendents are encouraged to apply for the GCSAA Golf Digest ELGA program. Visit gcsaa.org for an application. What we love about Patrick Blum and Colonial Lakers Golf Course is that it is a small course with a very small budget. And he does it, and he does it wonderfully. Um, just 